everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. And tonight, we've got the New York Knicks up against the Washington Wizards. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It is a thrill to be here for what should be an exciting opening night game. Uh, Greg, are you feeling any first game jitters? It's hard not to, Kevin. I mean, the feeling in this place is just electric. I'm not sure who's more amped up for this one, the players, the fans, or us here at the table. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Here's Houston. Ball's not loose. Leitner the pass to Jordan. To the paint from short range. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Here's Isley. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Down low, lock at six. Here's Houston. A three off the mark. Here's Washington now. Stackhouse, the pass to Hughes. He kicks it to Stackhouse. Over Isley. No good from Stackhouse. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. He takes it in. Houston. No good. Shot missing. And the Wizards now going the other way. Hughes up top. And Jordan has it in the corner. Good on the triple. Jordan. Jordan often gets his hoops off the dribble, but he also is capable as a catch-and-shoot guy. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Yep, it counts. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Hughes kicks to Stackhouse. Wizards passing it around. Goes back up. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Got to do more than this to slow down Stackhouse now. He doesn't let tight defense bother him. The Wizards shooting their first free throw of the game. And Stackhouse, no good on that one. The Knicks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Here's Houston. Rebounded by the Wizards. Jordan, left side. And Jordan throws it down. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. They get a hand on it. The pass to Stackhouse. From 18 feet away. No good. He's off to a slow start. One for four so far. Next trail by seven. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. New York, no good that time either. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with the Knicks head athletic trainer. 
He said that he suffered a nasty bruise to the lower part of his back and that it's really stiffened up on him. This is never the way you want to lead off, but they have no choice. They still have to play the games. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Right on the bucket. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Both teams changing it up here. Here's Warren. Hughes covering. Here's Sprewell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Thomas, that's good. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Al Hughes kicks it to Jeffers. Jordan outside. For Anderson. Pass to Hughes. Here's Jordan. Tries yet again. The shot, no good. Excellent D from Thomas. Here's Freewell. He's guarded by Russell. Shoots. And it's Spreewell missing. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Second chance shot. Thomas, no luck. Knicks trail by nine. Anderson passes to Ward. From the arc. The rebound by Thomas. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Hughes kicks to Thomas. Russell left side. Over Sprewell. Russell, no good. And it's Anderson with the ball for New York. Pass to Sprewell. And the layup fall. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Jordan looking it over. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Washington heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we'll be right back after this. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. And guys, they've done a great job beating their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. Here's Stackhouse. The Wizards working the ball around now. Shoots a fader. It's rebounded by New York. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. This is it to Spreewell. Fires from deep. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And how about Sprewell? They're dropping one from D. Really like how he's starting to get a feel for that three-point. Good D by Thomas. Next trail by four. And the pass to Ward. Here's Sprewell. Haywood covering. And again, New York with the triple. 
Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. From the Wizards, they're shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. From 13, no good from Stackhouse. Clearly, the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. The Knicks making a switch here. First team foul. Checking in for your Knicks. Travis Lindsay. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Has to warn. They set the pick. A floater. No good there. Now the Wizards take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And it's Russell missing. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Isley, the pass to Houston. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Houston's got the lead up to one now for New York. For Washington, they've gone 0-4 in the second quarter. Obviously, that needs to change. Here's Lou. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. New York's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Here's Isley. And again, New York with the triple. Greg, how about those baggy shorts you wore at UNLV? Did you think that would spark a fashion trend? Yeah, I mean, we may have started it, but... I don't want to take any credit away from Sewell and the Fab Five. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Lou. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. I'm deep. But on that shot, with that, the Nick lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Leitner. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11-0 run by New York. Here's Isley. That's the Weatherspoon. Passes to Houston. This one for three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. The knee has to know Houston is looking for revenge in these moments. Nice triple there. Lou passes to Stackhouse. Pick by Haywood. And slam dunk by Haywood. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Here's Houston after the basket by Washington. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. A dynamic and confidence for Houston, as steady as it gets at the offensive end. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team. Moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. You got to love that great assist by Jordan. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Not loose. Here's Houston, guarded by Jordan. Knight with a screen on Jordan. Basket good. Houston's got 11 points. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's Jordan. He doesn't hit that one. And New York will come the other way. And Anderson has it in the corner. And the Knicks hit again from deep. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Here's Jordan. He has five. The pass to Hughes from deep. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Washington. Checking in for your Knicks. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Cloaked loose. 
Jordan on the wing. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's Jordan with the jam. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. And so here is New York after the basket by Washington. And here we go. Washington fast break. Stackhouse is running. Yeah, Hughes does a nice job reading the circumstance, reading his guy, and coming up with steals because of his quick hand. Here's Isley, and the foul called on Larry Hughes. That's his first foul. Kurt Thomas is checked in for the Knicks. Substitution on the court. Twenty-six seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Isley. From past the arc, counted his second make in four attempts. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Jordan with it. He has seven. Thomas sets a screen for Jordan. And the Wizards getting another bucket right there. And that time, the screener rolls, and Jordan has room to get the shot he wants, makes a good decision to keep that one himself. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Knicks. They're up by four. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Isley. Tipped away. Hughes with the steal. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Hughes, a very solid player, guys. I mean, an athletic guard who can get hot on occasion. The Wizards shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And so he makes both from the line. New York's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Here's Houston. Offensive rebound. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Jordan kicks to Stackhouse. Jordan outside. Picked by Haywood for the tie. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Kurt Thomas. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. He's really good at angling his body to pick up the foul line. And the first one at the line is good. And it's tied up with that one. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. Here's Houston. 11 points in the game. Here's Sprewell. Misses the three. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Here's Isley. Hughes covering. Isley the pass to Thomas, and he gets the bucket. And that's exactly what you want to start the second half. Smart play call. Yeah, they want to get the half off to a quick start, and they know who to go to. And another great look at the 2K drive. They had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. You know, the three shot is...
not a go-to shot for MJ, but his touch still undeniable. Got a piece of it. Now Stackhouse. He has six. Over Sprewell. No good from Stackhouse. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Isley. He's got six. Here's Hughes. And again, Washington with the triple. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Isley, the pass to Houston. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Houston's got 14. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. Jordan kicks to Stackhouse. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Here's Isley. Washington with the rebound. Outside, Jordan. Over Houston. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got nine points in the quarter. And we know Jordan is a master from the mid-range. Whether he's squared up or falling away, you feel like it's going to splat. Isley, the pass to Houston. Buried from 15 feet out. 16 points for him. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside, Jordan. Drives to the hoop. Leitner, the pass to Hughes. From outside, off the mark. Knicks trail by three. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Weatherspoon. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Really, uh, the right play defensively if you can't block force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And the first one drops. Anderson, he's checked in for New York. Ward comes in for Eisen. That one is no good. The Wizards have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. It's rebounded by New York. Thomas got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Sprewell for the tie. Jeffries with the rebound. That's one he knows he should have drank. 51 left to play in the third. Pass to Lou. And here is Hughes. He has seven. Just five to shoot. Lou passes to Jeffers. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. Here's Russell. It doesn't go for him. The Knicks go the other way with him. Anderson outside for the lead. Kept alive. Weatherspoon. He nails it, and we're tied up. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Here's Lou. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Russell left side. Here's Lou. Takes a three. Nailed from three-point land. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Ward. Now here's Anderson. There's the pass to Spree. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Jerry Jeffries, good. Three. Yeah, Brian Russell is a shoot-first player, but he's also very unselfish. Did a nice job with the read and made a good pass. That's tipped. 
Here's Ward. Hughes covering. He gets that one. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Here's Lou over Anderson. Here's Thomas. Michael Jordan getting it done for the Wizards. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll return shortly. been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Washington leading now by four. Hughes with it. He dishes it to Oakland. New York foul. Tony Ward. First personal foul. First team foul. Jordan outside, driving in. Haywood kicks to Stackhouse, just three to shoot, a second chance effort, and the layup is good. Stackhouse has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Washington. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Here's Ward, Hughes covering. Houston, the pass to Ward. Knight with a screen on Hughes. Here's Ward. And again, it's New York. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Jordan outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. And New York making a change here. Isley's checked in. And the second free throw, good. And, and even though he couldn't get all of them to fall, he did make it a two-possession game. Knight with a screen on Hughes. Haywood with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Houston. The rebound by Jordan. Jordan's got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks to Haywood. Here's the three. Washington gets a bet. Here's Oakley. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. He is absolutely a wrecking ball on the offensive board. Charles Oakley crashing with a lot of force. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for Washington. Their fast break plays have seemed unstoppable. They just keep finding ways to overrun the defense here in transition. And the defense has been disruptive, forcing turnovers, challenging shots. The turnovers they've been able to turn into points, too. That one's good, and the Washington lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Houston. Much respect for the jumper of Houston. He knows exactly when to let it fly. Now, here is Jordan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. First one falls for him. And the Wizards making a change here. Leitner's checked in. Good on both. Here's Isley. Knocked away. Here's Hughes. And he dumps it down. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> He is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. A 
little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Outside for Thomas. Pass to Isley. Six on the shot clock. And the three off target. Washington leading now by 10. The shot by Hughes, no good. Here's Houston. Isley the pass to Anderson. Driving to the basket. Pass to Isley. Here's Weatherspoon. 17-foot shot on the way. Thomas's shot is off. Washington's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. A nice shot by Jordan. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Here's Houston. Passes it to Isley. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And something we've seen the last couple of years. More and more overseas players, Greg, making their mark in the NBA. Yeah, Dirk led the way a few years back. And having a big star like Yao Ming come into the league, the NBA might explode in overseas town. Leitner the pass to Hughes. That one goes in. Hughes got the lead up to 14 now for the Wizards. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Thomas, a screen on Jordan. Here's Houston. Guarded by Jordan. Houston shots good. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Hughes. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The first free throw is good. Ward, he's checked in for Isaac. And so he hits both. Knicks trail by 14. Here's Houston. And there's the pass to Ward. Wide open. Rebounded by the Wizards. Leitner's got four rebounds in this game. Jordan inside. He feeds it to Haywood. A really solid victory for them here tonight. They kept things simple, took what the defense gave them, and grabbed the win for the Wizards. They never settled for mediocre shots. And Kevin, they had great penetration this time out. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jordan. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. Here's Houston. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Hughes tries it from 19. A shot, no good. Here's Houston, defended by Jordan. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get old. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.